Welcome to School Focus. I'm your host, Melissa Payne. Nintendo games in the classroom. It's happening at T. Clyde Wood Elementary, where students are engaged in STEAM learning thanks to a generous partnership. It's going to work, and you'll see. You'll, now you'll Charles Arasich, a fourth grade teacher, has been a fan of Nintendo games his whole life. When he saw that Nintendo and the Institute of Play wanted to partner with schools, he applied for the opportunity. T. Clay Wood Elementary was selected as one of 100 schools in the country to pilot a program where students assemble projects using Nintendo Labo kits. It's like a, a STEAM project where they want to, the kids to build, uh, obviously get a chance to play, and then to do some crea creative things with it. So it's, it's basically based on those three components, make, play, and discover. Mr. Arisich was provided with two Nintendo Variety Labo kits and two Nintendo Switches. The Institute of Play also sent additional materials to make more fishing rods and for each student to make their own remote control car. I'm building a fishing ride, a Nintendo fishing ride. It is really amazing. The project also gives students a chance to use communication, critical thinking, creativity, and problem solving skills as they build what are referred to as toy cons. Working together, these students are building a piano. There's a couple steps to it. And we have to do a lot of like punching out of like the cardboard and like folding stuff. You have to be sure which ones like which one you fold, which one you punch out. When finished, a Nintendo Switch is used to manipulate the toys. Once the, each of the items are built, we'll be able to interact more with the software. The goal is is that they can uh, work together to go beyond what the actual software says to do. That they can create their own thing. Throughout the program, the Institute of Play is hosting webinars, where Mr. Arisich has the chance to talk with other teachers from all over the country. These webinars allow the teachers to troubleshoot and share ideas. The Institute of Play is using the feedback from teachers to develop a guide for other educators to use in implementing Nintendo Labo in their classrooms. At the end of the program, Mr. Arisich gets to keep all of the materials, including the game switches. That's it for this edition of School Focus. Join us next time as we bring you more news and highlights from around the school division.